Aloha, I just want to welcome everybody here. My name is Stefan Yost. I'm the director here. Stefan is what everybody calls me here. Um, and I just want to welcome you here to the theater. The way tonight's going to work is um, I'm going to do a brief introduction. I'm going to um, uh, have the mayor really uh, give a, also say a couple words. The goal here is to listen to people, to hear, to get ideas out on the table. Um, and Georgette Deemer, who's the deputy mayor, she's volunteered to take notes so that she'll be our note keeper for this evening. So um, I'm just going to start with a little introduction that I wrote, and then after the mayor speaks, I'll tell, talk to you about a little bit about a structure or format that we might do to, to make this run smoothly. Um, this is about Thomas Square. In 1843, the property that is today known as Thomas Square was in, named in honor of Admiral Thomas by King Kamehameha III. It was dedicated by him as a public park in the memory of the restoration of the Hawaiian Kingdom. Just, that's a really important baseline. The park has a rich history. Um, some of it has been shown on the slides here this evening, but I'm quite confident that I am not the person to tell that history, and this institution, the museum, is not the institution to tell the history of the park. Indeed, the park was around for 80 years by the time this museum was founded. It seems to me that there's many other organizations and people, particularly within the Native Hawaiian community, who will be much more suited to be able to talk about that history and to frame that history for everybody. It's clear that the park is one of the most important historical places in Honolulu. The park has served many uses and gone through many periods of decline and rebirth. This is not the first time the community has got together and decided to do something to improve the park. The royal family took great interest in the park in the 19th century, and it seems that contemporary society at times has fallen way short of that. Today, the park is owned by the state of Hawaii, and it's administered by the city. I'm pleased that the governor and the mayor are interested in greater investment in the park. I hope that all interested parties here are interested in developing a vision for the future of Thomas Square for the long term. Not for next year, not for the next 30 days, but really, what do we want this park to be for our kids or our grandkids, etc. Let's all remember that the park was given by a king and dedicated as a public park in the memory of the restoration of the Hawaiian Kingdom. Again, very, very important key historical thing, key perspective to look at. I'm going to just go right into the, introduce the mayor of the city and county of Honolulu, Kirk Feldman. Good evening and aloha. Yeah, I've come here many times to see different types of films. Uh, from surf films to uh, gay, lesbian, transgender films to French cinema, and tonight we have an audience comprised of the people of the city and county of Honolulu talking about our most historic park. It really smack, is smack dab in the middle of our city. It's been here for 170 years, and since then things have grown up around it that were not here when the park was dedicated with the luau that was held in this area because of the restoration of the monarchy and Commandment III um, was given back all his full powers by Great Britain, um, who had another person come out and say that they were claiming, they were claiming Hawaii to be part of the greater British Great Britain. Now, when that restoration occurred, when that restoration occurred, what happened is Commandment III, from this park, walked down to Kwaihao, church, where he uttered the phrase, Uumau ke'ea oka aina i kapono, which remains our motto to this day. And it speaks volumes of this place, this aina. And I know everyone in this room, no matter where we stand on the position, I know we all respect those who walked before us, long before the rest of us came here. They walked these, they walked these, these lands. And I would appreciate that everyone gets a chance tonight so let's be respectful. People have walked these lands long before we showed up. This park is symbolic of that. And I think that great ideas can come out of a group like this to make this park live again, to speak the history of this place and its people. We're surrounded by great institutions here. We have the Honolulu Museum of Art with some of the best art you'll find in the Pacific region, all sorts. We have Linakona and the great exhibits and art classes that are taught over there for our youth and adults to learn more about art and how to express themselves in all ways. 
You got the great Blaisdell complex, the symphony across the street. You got the Straub Hospital and Clinic, one of our great health systems. This is an area surrounded by incredible institutions. How do we work with the neighbors? How do we work with the people of the city and county of Honolulu to bring new life to this park? To respect the history of the park and the land, which means we need the input of the Native Hawaiian peoples. And we need the input of the stakeholders in this area. For me, and this is just my vision, I like to see it become a culture and arts center with sculpture, Native Hawaiian sculpture, other kinds of sculpture, maybe that rotates through the park, that perhaps you'd have a place where you could sit out and eat. Perhaps patients at Straub could come and sit in the sun and get healthier. These are the kind of things I'm open to, but this is just my vision. This is not about any one person's vision, it's about all of us coming together to figure out a way to honor this place, this very special place. So it's around another 170 years and gets only better. And that can only happen with the input of many and coming with a plan that people agree to and then moving forward. As mayor, I'm committed to do that. That's what we've been doing over the past couple months. Some of it is controversial, and I know any plan is, but I think tonight it's about listening. It's about hearing from each other, writing down the ideas, and then putting them together to see what works. I want to thank all of you for coming tonight, because you could be home. You could be with your loved ones, with your family. You're here because you care about this place. It's the Aina, but more importantly, the people. So I want to thank all of you. I'm going to stick around for a while, but tonight we have a memorial honoring those police officers who gave the last ultimate sacrifice, their life in the line of duty. They do this every year. I'm going to be down at the, down at the legislature for that. So I'm going to be here until a little after 6. I'm going to hear what you have to say. Of course, I'll be anxious to read everything that's put together. I want to thank the Honolulu Museum of Art and Stefan for helping put this together. And recognize, don't beat up on the Honolulu Museum of Art or Stefan. This is about pulling everyone together. Don't we get mad beat, at him. We want to beat up. He's a, he's a conduit for getting dialogue. And he's done an incredible job with this museum. Changed his yeah. focus from all kinds of stuff. So I think, I want to thank the Honolulu Museum of Art. Let's give him a round of applause. And thank you. So um, this evening, the, the way we're going to do it is that um, we're going to have an open basically an open mic. I've got a mic here.